My name is Scott Lokers. I'm part of the Transition Ministry Services of the Regional Synod of the Great Lakes, and my privilege to be with you today and to help us think about authentic community. Or another way of thinking about that is a community of grace and truth. This is important in my life. It's one of the ways God has used to continue to bring about transformation in my life to help me live into God's purpose and design. Let's anchor this in scripture, John 1, 14. The word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. It's a description of Jesus, who he is, full of grace and truth. And that description matters. We have a tendency, I believe, at least I have a tendency, to go toward grace or to go toward truth, to pick one of those. Now, we might extend grace or we might um, share the truth, but to do both at the same time can be difficult. So if you think about your own life, is there a tendency that you have to go one direction or the other, to go toward grace or to move toward truth? For me, that's to move toward grace, that um, I want you to like me or um, I want to make sure that... Um, I'm not hurting somebody's feelings, and it's often difficult for me to have the courage to actually say what I really believe, to tell the truth always. So if you just think about your own life, do you steer one direction or the other? And if we think about the kind of communities we want to be part of and help create, I believe both of these matter. The and matters. It's not grace or truth. It's grace and truth. So what would a community of grace look like? It's a place where uh, we receive each other without condemnation or shame. It's not that we don't do things wrong or there are no standards, there are, but we receive each other with no condemnation and no shame. And a community of gr truth would be a place where we hold each other accountable. In fact, I would ask you to hold me accountable so that I can learn, so that I can grow. It's not about um, we're bad people or it's not about uh, trying to make each other feel bad. It's about learning and growing. Or another way to think about that is we hold up the mirror for each other. I'm asking you to hold up the mirror. And if I'm doing something that's hurting the community, or not living into God's design, you would help me to see that. A community of grace and truth. And one more thing I'll say about that, important for me in this, if somebody's gonna hold up the mirror for me, is that if I'm convinced you are for me, that you're doing that for my own good, and you're doing it for the good of the community, and if you're doing it for the good of the mission of Jesus Christ, I'm much more likely to hear that and to receive that well. So the challenge for me, and I'd share it with you, is what are you doing, what am I doing to step into that, to make the communities we're part of a community of grace and truth. You can think about it in terms of the team you're part of or the place where you work or your family, or you can think about it as your congregation, but more and more we want those, I want those to be communities of grace and truth. So what's one action step you could take, one action step I could take today to do that? Is that showing up that we are less judgmental, less condemning? Is it I'm asking somebody, will you help me see what I cannot see myself, that more fully we live into this authentic community. Thanks.